Alright guys, I have Gatorade beside me, and I'm going to try to get through this tutorial with you guys. Okay, so today we're going to be making 3D hearts in After Effects, and we're going to be doing this with both Trap Code Form and with Element 3D. So let's jump straight into it. I'll just show you what it might look like at the end. So my last video. So over here, you can see this particle heart in the background, slowly rotating and dissolving. We're going to be making that. All right. And after that, a little farther down, we have this 3D heart that appears over here. And this is with element 3D. We're also going to be making that. So in the description of the video, you will find a link to a download this heart 3D folder. Make sure you have it. It's just a bunch of 3D model of hearts that we can use for After Effects. So make sure you download that first. And let's go straight into After Effects. Make a new composition. And let's start this tutorial. Okay, so if you're here for the Element 3D heart tutorial, we're going to be doing that first. And if you're here for the Trap Code Form tutorial, just skip down a little bit. And you should be able to find it. Um, if you're here just to listen to my awesome voice, then please continue on. Let's start by making, oh, okay. Let's start by making a new solid. And once we have that, go into element from your effects and presets folder and drag it into your solid. So once we have this, go straight into your scene setup. Now once we're in here, click import in the top left. Give that a moment. So I have my folder on my desktop, so it's not that hard for me to find. I'd recommend having it on your desktop too, just so it's easy to access. And we're gonna open our heart 3D folder, heart model, models, and make sure to hit the Cinema 4D file. So once we have that, immediately we have our 3D heart. So now we can just add in a nice material to make it look nice. I usually just go into metal. Oh, and I'm just going to use this one. This bronze gold color because it looks nice. And yeah, we have our heart. Looks pretty good. Hit the OK button. And you will see this weird oval thing. But that's actually the heart. It's just on its side for some reason. So under World Transform, you'll find World Rotation, and hit the Y Rotation World. And just like that, we can see our heart. Looks pretty good. I'm going to keyframe it like this. Hit U to see our keyframe. Drag down a little bit, keyframe again, and this time, rotate the heart to the other side. And right now, if I were just to preview this, we have our rotation, which looks pretty nice. And there's some reflections and stuff. Alright, so we have that much done, just to make it look a little nicer. Under Animation Engine, right here. If you hit the Enable button, alright, we can keyframe our animation. And this is to make the heart sort of pop up, and it makes it look nice. So from uh, zero, oops, let me keyframe at zero. It's got to go from 100. Uh, when you hit 100, it'll just disappear to zero, which is when it'll appear. So basically, you'll see the heart just pops up. That's what animation, when you keyframe it, that's what it'll do. And we have a rotation. All right. So we have that much done, um, the next thing that we're going to do is just add in some, one second, alright, drag this down. So our heart will appear, and just if you have the sapphire plugins, just 
search in your effects and presets drop shadow and add in s underscore drop shadow just drop that in to your solid then just bring up your opacity and shadow blur and it'll add this nice sort of blur to the back of uh, the heart just adding some sort of depth to it oh, I don't know why that went so high all of a sudden anyway so we're done our element 3d heart now we're gonna move on to the trap code form heart okay so let's go make a new comp new composition and we're gonna start the same way with a new solid once we have our new solid in your effects and presets just search form and scroll down to trap code, underneath there you'll find form and just drag it into your solid. So you see this grid of particles, you won't have to worry about that now. First just go into your heart 3D folder, we're going to be using this again. Under heart model, models, you'll find this heart, this 3D object heart. So just grab that in After Effects and just drop it in. So once Trap code form is downloaded on your computer. You will get this OBJ for use with trap code form, and that's just automatically comes with trap code form. It'll decode your 3D objects for trap code. So once that's in there, under your green solid in your trap code form, base form, change your base form to OBJ model. Now, once that's done, scroll down into OBJ settings, open that up. And under 3D model, we're going to be clicking our heart.obj. So once you click that, if you zoom in, you'll see, oh, something appeared. Okay. So we're going to shut off our heart.obj, just you don't need to view that anymore. Under your green or whatever color solid you have, go into, let's see, world transform. And under Y rotation, just like before. Rotate the heart so it's facing the front and just scale it up a bit. Oh, a bit too much. All right, that looks okay. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with our other heart. We're going to keyframe our rotation on the Y axis. Just keyframe Y, go down a bit, and bring it over to the other side. I never fully rotate the heart just because it's so fat that it, it doesn't look so good. Uh, so once you see this, we have a heart rotation. And just some things that you can do with the heart if you go into base form. So playing with your size Y, size X, and your size Z, you can change the sort of height and width of your heart. So say you think this heart is too long, you change your size. Okay, no, I tricked you. Okay, so size Y will control the sort of stretch of your heart or the compress of your heart. Size X will control your width of the heart. So this heart is a bit fat, so we can just lower this, say 160. And the heart became a bit thinner. Uh, yeah. And leave the rest as it is. Alright, so after that, you've changed your base form, just depending on how fat. I usually just change size X. We're gonna go into our quick maps and we're gonna color this heart, because right now white is a bit plain. So under color map, just make sure you have map over Y. So that'll map it from top to bottom. And right now it looks really cool, it looks really awesome. We got all these colors. I'm just gonna go over quick maps or color maps really quickly. Basically how it works is these are presets that you have. And when you click them, your heart should change. Mine glitches a lot of the time and doesn't update for some reason. So I can't actually see how the heart looks until I close After Effects and reboot it and then it'll show me how the heart works. 
So I don't know if any of you will have this problem, but if you do, please leave a comment so I can just see if anyone else is having the same problem as me. Alright, so oh, back to color maps. By double clicking on it, you can change the color. By grabbing it and dragging it down, you can just get rid of colors. And then by moving it side to side, you just change the range of the colors. This would be a lot easier if you could actually see what I'm doing, but this computer does not want to show you for some reason. Anyway, after we have that, we're going to keyframe, let's see. Yeah, we're going to go into our disperse and twist, and we're going to keyframe disperse. So you can, you can make this as dramatic as you want if you want your heart to just like explode into tons of cool little particle things moving slowly. By all means, go ahead and do that. But for the purpose of this video, I usually just keep it at around 6. And uh, just because I don't like it when it explodes that much, just a little bit of explosion in the particles. All right, so again, we have it rotating and we have it dispersing a bit. There are a lot of other cool things you can do with Trap Code Form, like make fractal fields and stuff. But that's not for this tutorial, maybe another time. Hopefully you guys learned something and this tutorial was helpful. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.